Welcome on the Viking Ninja editing channel and uh, in this video I want to show you how to make an animation but with an imported document. For this video I, I'm gonna show you this pineapple and I'm gonna animate it into an alien egg because I recently applied for a job and I figured this is gonna be a funny thing to put into the video. <laughs> so I just uh, I just imported this pineapple and you need to make the background disappear because as you can see it's not a PNG file so it has a background which I need to remove which I did with the selection tool I just used the automatic selection tool because everything was white so after I did that I increased the size of the erasing tool to the max and then just started erasing everything that was white and uh, everything else that I didn't select just stayed there for example the pineapple and the leaves i'm not gonna need the leaves either so i'm gonna delete those as well and i'm just gonna need the pineapple itself like the alien eggs i know it's not the exact same shape but it's close enough so <laughs> all right after that one's done we need to duplicate this layer because obviously we need a safe one and we need one that we're gonna work on and uh, now I can just use the selection tool. I'm going to use the free-handed selection tool because if you just put your stylus down on a certain point of the screen, it's going to navigate the line there. And because the pineapple has these weird shapes, uh, I have honestly no idea what they're called, but because they are in these type of shape, so you can just easily... Uh, use your freehanded selection tool and just make these tiny selections and then you press on the duplicate button and then you have this tiny part of the pineapple and then you can move on to the next phase which is uh, also selecting this part because you kind of need to highlight it or something and my way of highlighting it is just making a new layer with the same selection and then painting it and then put that layer on the top and then which is not, not not necessarily but i took down the opacity so i can see the lines of these things and then i just did the same thing what i just showed you which is uh using the freehanded selection tool going through the whole thing this part of the pineapple is more like a triangle shape because uh the, if you look at the alien eggs, uh, the way they, they open up, it's kind of like a weird triangle thingy uh, peeling off from every part of the egg. On the top, I mean. So this is going to be kind of a triangle shape. Well, I, I need my triangle shape to go along these cuts. And then I can just do my duplication do my selection and then do the painting at this time i actually remember then i made the new layer on top and then i can move on for the last part of the egg well pineapple all right, without being too boring, I kind of cut this thing because uh, you just need to end up with these, with these four layers. And then you can keep this because you need it, need it later. I mean, I need it later. I don't know about you if you're going to use it or not, but you just need these four part that you can see has the tick on them. And I'm going to make a group with these and then I'm going to duplicate the group. I'm going to keep one group as a saved one so i'm just gonna make that uh just disappear and then i'm gonna start uh making a new duplication and on the third duplication i'm gonna start wrapping these things well i mean uh forming them into these opening egg thingy and for that you just need to use your selection and uh, the warp tool and just making them a little bit slightly uh, different every time but you have to go down because it's opening 
and the peels are going down. And then you make the duplication again because every duplicated group is just going to be a new layer later because I'm going to flatten these layers. But until then, I need to move, make these movements with the wrapping tool. And one more really important detail, because <laughs> this should be okay by itself, but because the eggs have four sides, not just three sides, you should be able to see kind of the inside when it's opening up. So these layers uh, where these peels are going are fine, but you need a fourth layer as a peel. And for that, I just downloaded a uh, cut up pineapple and I took a cut and just inserted behind everything. I needed to make that slice look kind of similar to these peels because the peels have because the peels don't have this really straight side so I needed the side to be kind of uh, uh, holy <laughs> and that's why I went through the whole thing with uneven selections and then I used the inverted selection because I needed the inside to be okay. And something really important, this layer of this slice has to be in the back behind all of the other layers because this is actually the background and the background has to be covered by your foreground and everything else is your foreground. And also you have to uh, keep this making smaller with each of your groups. So every time you make a change in the group, this is also a slice that's just gonna make the change. So you need to make that part of the pineapple or whatever shape you're gonna use, whatever thing you're gonna use for this, you just have to make it move as low as the other slices are going. After you think you have made enough groups and enough movements with your groups and you think you're gonna be okay, uh, you can start flattening your groups. As you can see, I didn't really make too many layers. I only made about six and I think I'm gonna make maybe one more duplication of these pineapples because I wanna make those pineapples move in the beginning of my animation and then I'm just gonna want the pineapple to, just to open up. And if you want the pineapple to just stay stationary at the end, when it opens up, you can make copies of your last frame. So when you export the animation, it's, it's going to look kind of proper, nice. And you can export it into a GIF or GIF, whatever you want to call it. Or uh, you can even export it in MP4. Whatever you're going to do, uh, you have to remember that you made your background layer disappear. So if you save this thing, like I'm doing it now, this is going to be kind of a no background layer, but not every app can use it. And especially when you save something in MP4, the background, if you don't have any background, is just going to be black. And not all the softwares that you have are going to be able to uh, make this thing look good and make the black background disappear. For example, sometimes I have a problem with LumaFusion, make the background properly disappear. So I just use a really, really colorful, really bright background. And that color has to be different from the actual color of the subject that I have. So in this case, I have green and yellow. And for the background, I'm just going to use this really bright blue. And it's going to be really easy to just key out when I'm going to use this in a video. And that's about it. This is how you make a photo animation in Procreate. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope you kind of learned something today from this. Because if you did not, then I did a bad job. And I really hope I did a good job at this time. And uh, goodbye. Oh yeah, uh, check out my other stuff. Bye.